Hello, people of the internet. My name is Creation, and today it's all about Naval Strike. Now, there has been a lot of information flowing around the interwebs. And we now know all the weapons, all the assignments, and also all the gadgets that we're getting. We also know all the maps, so we pretty much know everything about Naval Strike. But recently, it has come to my attention that not a lot of people knew or know what Titan Mode is. Well, Titan Mode is coming back into Battlefield 4, renamed Carrier Assault. And in Carrier Assault, you'll be able to board an enemy ship, and destroy it from the inside or go around capturing points just like in Conquest to shoot missiles at it. So at basic, it's a mix of Rush and Conquest. And to me personally, it's going to play a lot like Capture the Flag where you have half the team, well supposedly half the team is supposed to be back defending your objective and the other half going out and capturing and also attacking the enemies objective. I think it's a very interesting game mode. I just hope everyone doesn't kind of just sit in the boat or no one's in the boat. It's really weird what I want, but I kind of just want some way to balance who is defending and who is attacking. But it looks like you're going to be able to arm some kind of MCOM or maybe a huge IED that blows up the whole carrier. Now, I'm not sure which one is going to be, or maybe the MCOM just makes everything short and out and the carrier blows itself up, but it looks like you're going to have some kind of time to get out of the carrier and make it out alive. I can just see these last second, I have to make it out alive. Game moments. Now, speaking of sneaking in and blowing up MCOMs, you're going to have to have a route in. And there was a few things that I noticed about the Naval Strike screenshots that I don't think a lot of people were discussing. First off, there's a giant latch on the carrier in one of the screenshots, and there's also the top deck. So I think there's going to be two ways into the carrier to get to those MCOMs and blow them up. One will be boat accessible, and the other will be only air. This is the most logical to me. And I have already kind of debated whether after a certain amount of time of capturing those flags and those missiles fly at the carrier, it opens up a hole in the ship. Now that would be a great Levolution event for all of the maps, but I'm not really too sure where DICE stands on Levolution, if they're going to integrate it more in their DLC. If you guys didn't know, DICE has switched studios from Stockholm to LA, also known as Los Angeles, if you guys don't live in the US, which is a bit awkward, but they are switching studios. It looks like Final Stand and Dragon Teeth will be developed by DICE LA. Now they're not new to this stuff, they have worked on the main game and they have, I guess, collaborated with Stockholm to produce Naval Strike. But like I said, I'm not sure where Levolution stands with DICE. I really think lately it hasn't really been game changing. The most game changing thing that I saw is the second Assault Levolution. Now for the stock maps, they weren't really game changing, they didn't really do anything. But really, before I got so detailed and caught up into Carrier Assault, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I think is going to be game breaking. Now I can be wrong, I can be totally wrong and everything can go by so well and swell. But I'm starting to think the DICE is trolling us with the gadgets that they introduce each DLC. Now with China Rising we got the swap and we know how that ended, it was like doomsday for Battlefield where everyone would just sit back and suave all day and I didn't have a problem with that I didn't really care I knew they were gonna patch it eventually but now they're integrating anti heli mines and they're going to be able to disable or damage helicopters if they fly over them now I have seen a few videos on this gadget in real life and it looks potentially devastating it looks like it can disable or completely take out a helicopter but I know DICE is really smart, they're not going to integrate it so it can take out a helicopter. 
maybe it can damage or give that weird disabling effect that they implemented into Battlefield 4 just an automatic critical hit but I really don't want to see these in Battlefield I feel like they really don't have a place there's already Iglas and Stingers and RPGs and Straws I mean s -Raws. I'm pretty thirsty <laughs> so don't mind my English today but there's like so many things that can take out air already why do we need more things like this there's two ways this thing can work it automatically gives that critical hit effect with no damage or does damage but it doesn't critical hit that's the only way I figure that they can balance it in a lot of people's opinion and I see you guys opinion you think that a lot of people run the repair torch a bit too much they hold on to it a bit too much and what DICE is trying to do is they're trying to get people away from it they're trying to get people to try new things and go out and experiment and have a good time and I'm all good for that but isn't that a little bit overpowered and also they're bringing in a grenade launcher that shoots three grenades before you have to reload and I think they're applying the same idea they're trying to get people away from the med kit honestly I thought the two spam was a bit much already outdone I just deal with it but come on dice I would like to see some gadgets that promote team gameplay or objective gameplay or something that helps me play the objective better such as tugs or the MAV these are perfect gadgets that I feel are the core fundamentals of how this game is supposed to be played I hope that didn't get too ranty but I know a lot of you guys are concerned about these gadgets I do notice these weird gadgets and assignments all the time I don't talk about them much I like to stay on the positive but this is just required let me know you guys thoughts in the comment section below I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover but this just smells OP all over it I'll see you guys in the next one stay creative guys